My name is Emre Arasi. In our lab, we work on capillaric biowearable devices for continuous health monitoring. The musculoskeletal disorders, such as rotator cuff tendonitis, sprained ligaments, herniated disc, are the leading cause of disability in the world. Due to the increase in the age of the human population, these disorders are unfortunately on the rise. They are so prevalent that when we see an internet meme saying that being an adult is mostly being exhausted and wondering how you hurt your back, we hardly laugh because it is our life story too. Although pain as a result of these conditions is a way of our body to tell us that something is wrong, change your lifestyle, we have to accept that it is not pleasant to have back pain. Now, imagine if there was a device technology that could analyze your movements during daily activities and tell you which of them are contributing to the pain related to your condition so you can reduce them before they cause any pain. Moreover, imagine this technology can track the movements that will help improving your condition as part of a physical rehabilitation treatment. Physical rehabilitation is the main course of action against musculoskeletal disorders. But unfortunately, there is no technology that can help continuously monitoring them. So adherence to treatment is always an issue. Analyzing human movements with a single device is a challenging task. Biomechanics experts traditionally use motion capture systems for this, but they are not suitable for continuous monitoring. Most of us, of course, are equipped with smartphones and smartwatches that can be used for this, but these devices can only track a few simple activities such as walking or running, so they are not sufficient. In recent years, the electronic components are interfaced with skin, defining a new class of device technology called epidermal electronics. These devices still suffer from problems associated with usability, high processing power, and battery requirements. So they cannot guide a physical rehabilitation treatment for a specific disorder yet. Our approach is to interface capillary circuits with skin and relying on fluid dynamics, skin interaction to analyze human movements. We want to have a secondary skin that has a capillary circuit, not unlike our circulatory system, but rather than transporting oxygen, operating as a biosensor. For doing this, we first are mapping the skin deformation for various human movements using an imaging technique called digital image correlation and we are using computer algorithms to classify these images. We are also developing a capillary circuit toolbox to achieve various functions on skin. These combined studies will allow us to design a skin mountable device that is capable of detecting, processing and analyzing the movements in the fluidic domain and informing the user about the healthy versus unhealthy activities. Since the majority of the functions will be in the fluidic domain, the electronic components and the power requirement will be minimized. This will ensure a comfortable skin patch for human movement analysis. We have started our journey at Santa Clara University with an intraocular pressure sensing technology to help glaucoma patients six years ago. Now, this technology, which is essentially a contact lens with a capillary circuit similar to what I described, is being commercialized by a startup company. Recently, we have made skin-mountable capillary devices that can track general movements. But we are still at the beginning of our goal to establish our research group as one of the leading groups in the field of capillary biowearables and skin biomechanics. The NSF Career Award I received and the microfabrication facilities and the collaborative spaces at the Sobrato campus for discovery and innovation present us a great opportunity to train and mentor our students and to realize this vision. Thank you.